Hi everyone and welcome today to painting pineapples using food dye and watercolour paper. Because watercolour paint works like a stain on watercolour paper, you can use other things that stain around the house just like food dye to paint with. So let's get started. For this activity you will need some food dye, some water, q-tips, some inexpensive watercolour paper and some tissues. Here are two fun faces I prepared earlier when experimenting. You need to take yellow food dye, squeeze a small amount just onto a household plate and with your finger make some circles on your page. Now this video is sped up so don't worry you don't need to go this fast. The circles will stay wet and it will stay in your finger, but don't worry. Next with the green, we need to wet your Q-tip first, otherwise it will absorb and won't paint all the green. Using the Q-tip and the green food dye, make some tops for your fun pineapples. And that's it. Grab a hairdryer and dry your cute pineapples until they are very dry so you can use your marker. This is a black inexpensive marker and I'm just simply drawing in some cute eyes. I'm leaving a white reflection spot, some eyelashes. Next I'm adding in a winky eye. Then I'm going to add in some pink cheeks with a pink marker. Any texture you have at home will be fine. I'm starting the mouth and I want to add a sticking out tongue, so back to the pink, colouring it in. Fix up the side of the mouth, and that looks pretty good to me. I'm now using a gel pen, and I decided to go with a glitter purple to make a cute tropical flower. Simply just colouring in some petals to make a flower shape on the side of the pineapple and then with a dark purple fine tip marker I'm making a center. You can add any decorations on your pineapples that you like. Here I'm using a yellow gel pen and I'm making some lines to show some texture on the pineapple face. I felt this yellow came out a bit dark so I decided to use a white gel tip pen and add some, uh, added some highlights beside the yellow lines and it did really brighten the face. Now I'm using a green, light green marker and I'm adding some lines to define some of the top part of the pineapple. For the next one I've grabbed a grey lead just to make sure, because I wanted to draw sunglasses, that they were evenly spaced before I went in with a black marker. Now I'm going over the top of the grey lead, making black lines to outline the sunnies, nice and bright. And making the lens shapes. When I first experimented with these pineapples, I decided to make the frames a dark purple, but I felt that actually blended in with the black marker too much and it didn't work. So this time I decided to go for a blue gel pen with some glitter in it, and it really did work quite well. However, I decided this time also to not completely color in the lenses, I decided to leave some yellow showing through for light reflection so they weren't so dark. And then I decided to add a singing mouth. Now we're on to the third little pineapple and I simply looked up online a laughing crying emoji face and I've gone in and drawn that. I decided to use a light blue marker for the tears and the white gel pen for the teeth. I did however need to go over a few times because the white 
is so light it takes a few goes to come out. I grabbed a glitter green gel pen which actually died on me during using it so I went to my art room and I found some green glitter glue using the opposite end of the q-tip I dabbed that on and you can see it works fantastic. And these are the two I prepared earlier. Food dye is an archival watercolour so it won't last forever but it will last a long time and you can have heaps of fun. You can do these faces however you like so I encourage you to have a go. See you later!